Stephanie Ann here, and guess what? I am leaving the area. I checked my fluids, I checked, uh, well, the, the coolant. Um, put some coolant in. Um, I've got some gas. The girl is running really, really well, and um, I had a good night's sleep last night. And I'm leaving this area. I had one last thing I had to do um, this morning, and um, it kind of didn't go so well. <laughs> it involves a family member, but you know what? With my family, um, you can expect a certain amount of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Um, I, am, I am going to start nurturing my own self-esteem, and I am going to start gaining my own self-respect and instead of trying to build somebody else's. Um, I've got a lot of work to do to get myself up to par. You know, 55 years old and I'm still growing up. But I have picked a spot. I don't know if I'll actually get there tonight. It's actually about three hours away. I may stop somewhere and just kind of chill out for a little while. I don't know. But they have dispersed camping and um, this, the area that I'm going is going to be hopefully in Kentucky. So, I don't know guys. I'm scared. I'm excited. I mean, I haven't started working DoorDash yet. I am going to start doing that. I've got a little bit of money, tiny little bit of money, um, especially after I had to, um, you know, buy some stuff today. And I've got one more little tiny paycheck coming. You know, and I will run out of money eventually, but I've got DoorDash I can start doing. So. Um, oh, Hobbs, I've got questions for you, man. I've got some questions for you, man, about door dashing. So, um, yeah, I, I may need to, like, give you my number or something. So, or I, I don't know if you feel comfortable with that. I mean, I'm an old lady. I'm not going to, like, be stalking you or anything. Um, I just want to bask upon your knowledge. Anyway, so I am taking off, and I'm super excited. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Here I go, here I go. Yes, man hand. Here we go. Hopefully there's the bridge up ahead that'll take me over the big old river and out of Ohio. Is this it or is it down the road a little bit? I do not know. Whew. I think we got a little bit. Well, here it is folks. There's my bridge. When I get to the other side, I'm going to be in Kentucky. Ho, 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 ho. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Here I come. For whatever reason, it didn't film when I was crossing past the Welcome to Kentucky sign, but I am in Kentucky. What a relief. What a freaking relief. I am finally out of Ohio. Yes. here 
and uh, just make a decision. All right, Betty knows we're stopping somewhere. Okay, y'all, don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> a familiar place. Um, there's actually a couple things I can pick up in here. And um, then I am just going to kind of figure out if I want to go all the way to this spot and find a camping spot. Um, it is already, well, it's a quarter after one. That's not too, too terribly late. Um, or if I want to just head south to Tennessee. I don't know. Decisions. Alrighty, I have decided to leave the Walmarts and go to this dispersed camping spot. It's in Kentucky. Um, it's on a lake. It's in a big national forest. And uh, hopefully there will be a spot open for me. If not, I'll just have to come back. I mean, I got gas. So, oh God, my heart is beating. It's like beating. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to find out what this is gonna be like, all right? Because I've never done this. This is like so out of my comfort zone. I'm such a creature of habit, but no more. <laughs> all righty, so let's see. I need to go south. I need to go south and then I- Turn left onto the I-75 south ramp, then merge onto I-75 south. I can do that right on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to a real camping spot. Well, I mean, it's not that the camping spots I've gone to haven't been real. Um, but this is going to be different. I don't have to pay a dime to camp there. I'm not going to know anybody. Um, so, I don't know. Alrighty, I don't want to... Continue on I-75 South for 47 miles. Oh, 47 miles. Alrighty, I'll catch you guys later. Okay guys, remember yesterday when I was saying, listening and I was saying, it needs oil? Well, I don't know if you can hear this. Uh, it's gone now, it's gone. I put oil in it, um, lifters, whenever it gets way low on oil, um, which it was yesterday, I could just barely hear them tapping. Well, I'm in real close to where I'm going to be camping and uh, it started just tapping away and I'm like holy crap so luckily I had some oil on me um, I put it in it uh, actually probably needs another quart but that's exactly what it was so I'm gonna go get me some more oil and I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep carrying on yeah Betty just took a dump making herself at home I can't believe this spot I got. There's got to be something wrong with this. I did see something coming in that says you have to protect your food. You have to store your food. And then there's a picture of a bear. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. All I know is I'm going to get me some fishing done. See this face? This is my happy face. You want to know why? Because I finally arrived. I don't know why I feel like I need to like talk quiet because it's just so peaceful out here. But let me show you where I'm at. Alrighty, I am parked at a spot right in front of the lake. And this is in the Daniel Boone National Forest in Kentucky. And just look at this. The trees just keep going up and up. Oh, see that? I, I improvised my canopy. I just saved two... Uh, two of the feet or the legs and I just kind of like attached it up over <laughs> that other that other whole big thing was just too much to store but check this out um, I did just talk to a campmate somebody that's kind of like camping way over there and um, he says yeah you better have a, a license to fish here um, and then I shouldn't take a chance at fishing, so I don't know. I don't know if I'll take a chance at fishing because I don't have a Kentucky license. Heck, my Ohio license has lapped, lapsed, but I don't care. I asked him how long you can stay here, and he says, I don't know, you know, for however long. I think it's maximum of 14 days, not sure. I don't think I'll stay here that long um, because my ice is not going to last that long. But just look at this. 
I think tomorrow I will go for a little walk and show you more of it. Oh my God, you have no idea how peaceful, how awesome it is out here. Also, I almost want to feel like crying because I drove all these hours. I drove so long to get here. And then the man started having those sounds and I'm like, I knew what it was. I knew what it was. I didn't panic. I took a deep breath. I pulled over. Luckily, I had some more oil on me. That's a good lesson to learn. Always keep your fluids, whatever you need, oil, you know, coolant. And um, I, I put the oil in and it stopped making the sound. And it's just this beast uses a lot of oil. So I've got to stay on top of that every single week. But I made it all the way out here, I, all by myself. I found the spot all by myself, well, and GPS, <laughs> and I'm here camping, and it is so pretty outside, and I just feel like I've left, like, a huge weight, a huge weight off of my shoulders, and it's, it's all back north, <laughs> it's north, so you know what, so far, the people have been super nice here, the guy that I talked to that's camping near me, he has this southern accent that just, oh, I remember. I remember this southern accent from when I was in Georgia, in Tennessee. And I miss it so much. And I know it's stupid because I'm crying, but I'm just, I'm happy. I'm relieved. And um, this, is, this has been a big accomplishment for me. So that's all I got for you for today. I'm going to have a glass of wine. I'm Betty is just gonna chill out <laughs> and uh, I think I'm gonna wash my hair I don't know maybe I won't <laughs> nobody cares <laughs> I am just so happy you guys all right I'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one